Located just off of Hennepin Avenue in Northeast Minneapolis, Head Flyer Brewing Company is a bit of a family affair. They were really excited to use all Minnesota hops and malt in this beer, which is called, anyway, here's Wonderwall. After talking to co-founders Austin and Neil, we were really excited to see that the folks at Head Flyer get along a lot better than the Gallagher brothers from Oasis. Headflyer opened in April of 2017. There's four owners, so myself, my sister Amy, her husband Neil, and then our business partner, Nate Larson. This kind of started as a smaller concept. We were gonna do you know, more of a brew pub thing out in the suburbs. And then you know, after looking at some spaces, we eventually found this space. Headflyer Brewing is, is built in a historical 100-year-old building, so it has some challenges and some really unique features like um, old limestone walls here in our uh, cellar in our brew house, which is super cool. We run a 15 barrel ABE system out of Nebraska and produce about a thousand barrels a year. Most of that is consumed here in the tap room, but we've started to get more into the uh, off sale production, uh, doing cans, bottle releases and, and other types of packaging. So one of our staple beers here is called It Was All a Dream, Juicy IPA, which is a tribute, of course, to Notorious B.I.G. That was actually the first beer we ever brewed at this location. And that was kind of in the beginning stages of the New England style, hazy IPAs. I actually took uh, the American Brewers Guild course out of Vermont, so spent a lot of time over there. I was able to try a lot of the great beers out on the East Coast, you know, things like out in Maine, out in Vermont, out in Boston. So drank a lot of that great beer and just was heavily influenced by those styles and those breweries out there to um, kind of bring some of that back and try to recreate some of those same styles and some of those same uh, flavor profiles. One thing that we like to really focus on is not just having the hazies and just having the sours. We have a, a wide range of styles where a space you can bring, you know, your father-in-law or your grandparents or anybody can come in here. It's a very welcoming, inviting space. We've got styles that we think truly we can find something for anybody. We just launched our seltzer series called J2 Low Seltzer. Our uh, barrel aged style Bamped, that series just got released. Whether you're the big beer snob or you know very novice and new to it, we've got something in our 13 tap lines that we think we can find for you. For Dabble in the Box season four, uh, we wanted to create a local Minnesota uh, produced beer. Um, and we, we naturally went to the hazy IPA style and we wanted to use uh, local grown hops and lo local grown ingredients to kind of create some of those same, the same flavor profile and same styles that we can get, but make it uniquely Minnesotan and use some of those uh, characteristics, the terroir of Minnesota hops that you can get. Um, and really try to expose those and bring that out into the flavors of a, a new beer. The Northeast style hazy IPA is really important to be super fresh. So the fresher you can get those beers, the closer that you can get them, you know, from packaging into the can, into your hands and into your glass, the, the better flavor you'll get. You get the opportunity to taste, you know, exactly how we intended it to be. One of the things we're using is uh, Minnesota grown Chinook hops, which have some unique characteristics when they're grown in Minnesota, a little bit different than the things that are grown on the West Coast. Um, it's a common hop, but what we'll get is more tropical flavors out of it. And we, we've grown with a few different Midwest area uh, Chinook varieties, and they just create some great tropical flavors. Um, one of my favorite styles for me personally, and that I love to be able to have the opportunity to do is the barrel aged stuff. We have a lot of stuff in barrels here. Well, these barrels are empty. Uh, the Banff release um, of our Imperial Stout uh, just recently came out here. And in the next week, we're gonna have some varietals and some other specialty beers uh, as part of our Barrels and Beards, which is a event we do every November. Uh, we support, we raise money for charity, but we release all our great barrel aged stuffs. We also have our Black is Beautiful that we just released in Crawlers and on tap which is the collab with Weathered Soul, so we're super excited about that. Our Barrel Age Imperial Stout series was just released. That's called Bamped. We got that one in Bombers in the Tapperman and Liquor Store. So we've got a bunch of you know, fun things coming out. It's a, always a fun time of the year as we make this you know, seasonal transition. We start to move more into the darker, maltier beers. We'll always continue to have 
you know, the hazies are, you know, raspberry kettle sour radiant baby, which is a taproom favorite. We've got our lagers. We've already always got a wide variety for anybody to come in on any day of the week. Yeah, thank you guys for checking out Head Flyer Brewing. Hopefully we can see you in the tap room someday soon. We're open seven days a week and uh, the beer's always cold. Cheers.